Go over to the UD. And thanks. We want to know the history, man. Bring it on. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, Black Sheep Tequila. We're new to Texas, so if you're from Texas, uh, it's only been here about 12 weeks now, so three months. Wow. Uh, you probably have never heard of Black Sheep have Tequila not. before. Okay. So um, in Spanish, so Veja Negra is uh, basically Black Sheep of the family. We're a little bit different. We are single estate, which most tequilas are not single estate. They actually buy their plants from other farms. So they okay. then bring the farm in, gotcha. uh, they bring in the plants, and then they process it. And so it's, we're a little bit unique in that way. We uh, also are no additives, so we're additive free. I so there's no sugar whatsoever in any of our product. And uh, I'll walk you through um, why we're here today. So back in 2000, a friend of mine, Jason Charles, and his childhood friend, Rodolfo, uh, out of Mexico, they had a fourth generation farm, a, a agave farm. Right. And they said, hey, you know what? Let's just go out and make the best tequila. And so they were just going to do it themselves and just try to work on it for years and years. They just tried to perfect the best formula in the fermentation process. Well, during the pandemic came up and they said, hey, we're doing pretty good with this. We think we have a really good product. Let's go sell it. So about two and a half years ago, they sold their very first tequila. Yep. And they went down to a friend of theirs, uh, who's now the CEO of the company, uh, in Destin, Florida, and they started selling down in Destin, Florida. Okay. And uh, the first person to take it was Chef Emeril Lagasse, and we put it in their, his restaurant, and it went like wildfire. Awesome. So it just took off, started selling all the tequilas, then they started going to other places and was doing really well. They said, hey, let's go to the World Spirits Competition in San Francisco, okay. where they have 70 blind taste judges across the world, and then let's figure out out of 1,300 tequilas where we rank amongst that to see how good we really are. Lo and behold, this one got a silver, this one got a silver, this one got double gold. Okay. And overall best tequila in the world and overall best in the air. Wow. So that kind of opened the doors for many, many more opportunities. Wow. So with that said, I would love to guide you a little bit more That's on the tequila awesome. and help you understand. Yeah, man, that's good. So the Blanco, the meaning white, uh, right. basically is a three-day fermentation process. It's old world style, so it's baked, the pinas are baked in a brick oven, and then uh, pro processed, and then uh, three and a half days, and then a half day in a copper pot still, okay. right into the bottle. No additives, Feels nothing the bottle. Else right. So this, is a, this should be real clean. On record, the CRT, the governing body of uh, the spirits in Mexico, said at one time this registered as the purest tequila in the, in, in the, they've ever seen. That's so pretty impressive. Give this one a try. Tell me what you think. You shouldn't need any kind of orange or any kind of lime like the old school way. We do everything neat. It's a good tequila. Yeah, it should be neat. Cheers. Salud. Yes. yes. Cheers. All right. You should taste a little bit of spearmint, maybe a little bit of white pepper on the end. Yeah, I taste it's the got a nice, yeah, a little nice, bit of white uh, pepper. It's got a nice pepper. nose to it. Nice yeah. nose. Very light, very light, very light. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's really smooth. Um, I, I get the really true, authentic agave, which I really like. And actually, you know the reason why you picked that up, and that's interesting you say that, because we use twice the amount of agave as we do the blanco. So therefore, you get a little bit more of that natural sweetness. Yes. Because when the agave plant is actually, when you actually take it out and eat it, mm -hmm. and it's then pulled apart, it's actually really, really sweet. And that's what they pull it from. So I like don't it. need to add sugar to it. No, it's, uh, that's good agave flavor. I would say this ranks high on my list in terms of blanco tequilas. So what's the price point? On, yeah, so, on this yeah, if you went to a local um, you know, beverage shop or any of your local uh, places retail, uh, that retails around anywhere depending on where you are in the country, forty-five to fifty-five dollars. Okay. So, but that's a, but that tells you it's a, a decent blanco. Because if you get the cheap blancos, then you're drinking turpentine. That's right. Then you're gonna have yeah. a headache. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm we like very to call this the, uh, We like to call this the no, no hangover tequila because we don't have any sugar in it to give you that hangover. Which is very important. Okay, that's solid.
Okay, so let's move on to the reposado. So now, there's a difference if you close, if you come in a little closer, you can see there's a difference in color. And then you have the Blanco, and then you see it's a lighter color. Well, why would that be? It's because the Blanco is then put into, and what we do, not every company does this, but we put this into a used Jack Daniel barrels. Okay, so, so that pulls Jack. in that Jack, the whiskey gotcha. flavors, okay. that oak flavors. So you're going to bring out some of that in this, and, and we've done this just less than a year. So we'll rep Auto meaning resting, it's yep. resting in a barrel. Yep. Uh, so try this one right here. You'll see they'll bring out some of those different. Uh, I'd like to hear what you what you taste in this one. So, so some reposados are being rested less because there's such a high demand. Uh -oh. What's the average age of the resting on this? Seven so, months, eight months. Six it just months. depends on the different. But you you hear anywhere between three months and up right. to twelve months. Uh, we right. it's, it varies based on whether the demand. Sometimes it's three months. Sometimes it's eight months, ten months. We like to we like it to be as long as we possibly can to right. still fall in that reposado category. Right. So give that one a try. Give me your thoughts on that. One. It should be very smooth. So you get some citrus taste right away. Some citrusy. I'm probably picking up some of the honey. Maybe some Getting of the a little honey. honey. It's very smooth. Like, super smooth. A little linger. Not, not. Probably need to hear another one. No, here. no burn. No burn. No burn. Yeah, I mean, these are these are sips. These are definitely sips. Yeah, taste. Just little these are tastes. These are little tastes. I'm gonna do another. You don't want to put taste. it too much on. I will say this too. Some people put it on a block of ice or try to put uh, yeah. make it cold. I like mine. You you can do too. it that way. Neat is the preferred way to do it. Yeah. However, sometimes a little water or uh, ice on it will open that flavor up yeah. a little bit. Right. So if you choose to drink it on a block. Yeah. You can do so. Um, I, sometimes I just sit down and drink it. <laughs> just right so, it what's the price point on this one, Dean? It runs anywhere between sixty-five and seventy-five dollars. Okay, so, so depending on where you are. This is a good reposado. I mean, again, authentic tequila, which I love. All my peeps out there know that I love that. Uh, for that price point, I'd say I put that in line with a lot of my reposados that we have on our bar. It's a good sipping tequila. Okay, so so far I'm very impressed. So they, you know, one of the things that differentiates ourselves is the fact that we are different, right? The fact that we have a single estate. We get all of our plants. We actually sell some of our plants to other companies. Uh, there's 120 different distilleries in in at least the area, right? In that whole Randis area, so. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to differentiate ourselves by making a quality tequila without Soul any source in Soul your own plants. backyard. You, you know exactly what you guys are doing. That's right. So that's very, all my peeps. <laughs> so single estate, if you didn't hear, because it's kind of loud in here, means they're not sourcing their agave plants from anywhere else. They're growing them on their own farm and they're, and they're processing them, their own agave plants. Not your own right. distillery, though. Yes, we have our own, have distillery. own distillery. It is literally so they have their own distillery. That's even more farm impressive. Farm to bottle, we have our farm own, to and we're the only one that we know of, unless you find somebody else out there, that we own everything. And okay. Is now, do you do other people's tequila? The distillery does other people's tequila. Which most of them do? Most of them do. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. And then, and that's how we know what's going on. So our our master distiller tells us what's going on. That we know there's other additives and a lot of the other. But not that it's a bad thing. Right. Just know that you can have up to one percent of right. other additives, caramel, sugar, things of that nature added to it. It still qualifies as hundred percent. One percent or ten percent? I thought it was one percent. Yeah. So okay. it, you're. And we are a hundred percent Highland Weber Blue Agave. Right. We are a hundred percent. So. Um, I think you will be impressed by the next one and the last one, so I'm going to move on. Oh, Let's, the other thing, Let's move on, everybody. This, before we do this, no, I do want to mention one more thing, because you brought up something that's very interesting. More and more people uh, 
companies are in a shortage of agave. Okay, so what's happening is, is they're picking early. You're supposed to wait six, seven years for the agave to fully mature. Right. Then you cut off the prawns, and then you have the pina, which is then baked, and that's where you get the tequila from. However, some people are cutting two, three, four years, and then it's, it's not maturing fully. So therefore, they have to add sugar to some of their products to make it come on. We're hearing things of using other products to cut that so that it, it, it tastes better. We don't do that, but we know it's happening out there. It so. is happening. All my peeps, it's happening out there big time. I, I, I predicted this when tequila outsold whiskey in the U.S. in February. It's the new bourbon. Yeah, Tequila so, is the new bourbon. It's always been that for me. Yeah. Fifteen billion dollar industry. So. Yeah. Okay, now so, we're on the Añejo. This is the one that received number one in the world. So uh, let's just see how this rates up against some of the others that you've probably tasted in the okay. past. Again, it's only been uh, in Texas for three months. It's only been sold for about two and a half years now, yeah. uh, and we're growing. We're growing. We grew three hundred percent last month. So. Let's see how uh, how this one takes. So now, how, how long is this Anejo? So this one right here is aged a little longer. Anejo, many days, right. it's aged in that barrel. Right. Now this one's barrel, we use a little bit of blending on this one, so uh, we can't give you all the secrets. So of course, of course. We do add Just a little bit of extra. Uh, we have a seven year extra Anejo, and we also have a Reposado, and we uh, we blend those together to make an amazing Anejo. Okay. So it qualifies under the Anejo uh, category, and yeah. uh, Enjoy. Ladies first. Thank you. Wow, it's really smooth. I mean, it's just, there's nothing, I mean, it's just very pure. I, I feel like it's really authentic. This is really authentic. Yeah, the first kind of thing you can tell is when something smells like cotton candy or smells uh -huh, like sugar, yeah. you know there's been additives added to it, like sugar or caramel or something like that. Okay, so definitely a different profile than yes. the Reposado, right away. So the blended, I think, is what's, what gives us that, uh, that little different profile. It's that aging process where it's taking on more of that whiskey. And that's You've got the more flavor. of the whiskey. It, it, it's got a little bit more caramel flair. It's a little bit more caramel flair yes. to it. Smooth. Yeah. It's got a linger to it, which I like. I don't like it just to disappear. Yeah, yeah. It has a little lingering on it. It's got a little linger to it. Back yeah, it's good. Citrusy. Almost kind of like, I, I, I get a little apple flavor, which I've never had or said on my channel before. Yeah, it's, now, it's got like, kind of like a little apple flavor to it. But not, you know, not added, but it's just whatever the tones are. you better try are, another one just to make sure. I think we better try another one. By the way, folks, these are just tastes. These are literally yeah. quarter ounce tastes, so they're not. Yeah, my, my peeps know yeah, well. When right. I do, do tasting, yeah. Okay, that's solid. It's really good. I'm a, I'm a black sheep believer. I'm a, I'm a black sheep family. My production supervisor, All right, uh, AKA good. Miss Tequila Hefe. <laughs> is, uh, really is an awesome tequila connoisseur, and uh, she will taste some of these. But great, Dean, listen, man, thank you for coming out. We really appreciate you. it. Yeah, it was good. And, uh, and all the peeps out there, all the so real quick, tequila uh, happy peeps, the, uh, the go buy some black sheep tequila. Ask for it at your local. Definitely. Store. What's the price point on this one right here? This one's right around so anywhere so between a ninety and a hundred dollars. Okay, so, so, so pretty reasonable. Very reasonable. And uh, awesome. Yep. Go to your uh, local retailer or you can go to blacksheeptequila.com. Blacksheeptequila.com. Get on there. Check this out. All my peeps. This is, this is worthy tequila. All right. Super awesome. Man, Thanks for the review. Yeah. You Thank you. Thanks, guys. Get the heavy with an agent's out.